today I'm doing a lash haul for you and I feel like I haven't filmed one in a while. I could be lying, I'm not too sure, but I feel like I haven't filmed one in ages. So today I have got an absolutely mahoosive lash haul for you and I am very excited to finally be able to show you guys all of these products so I can start using them. There is um, a lot in here and yeah I'm going to jump right in because otherwise this video is going to be super super long. So the first thing is something from the Lush Kitchen and that is the Comforter Body Lotion. This body lotion is something else. I wish this body lotion came to stores all year round because it smells incredible. I rarely buy things from the kitchen, I don't like to buy things online all the time, I find that if I buy something I'd rather have it straight away in my hand, but um, with the Lush Kitchen it's really hard not to buy stuff because everything is amazing, like I love everything, so um, yeah I absolutely love this. Price wise I think it was around £15, which Mm, I don't know. When you order from the Lush Kitchen, you don't actually get discount when you're a um, sales assistant for Lush. So um, I paid full price for this, which I would probably do again. I really love it that much that I would probably do it again. But I think £15 is quite expensive. Um, so I would definitely kind of have a think about it before you buy it. Um, but yeah, I am absolutely in love with this body lotion. And I'm going to get through this so quickly. So I need to kind of... I don't know, budget myself with it because it's just so nice. So because I'm an idiot, I wrapped all of these in um, cling film because I thought I'd be really organised, um, forgetting that I have to film this video. So you're going to have to bear with me while I unwrap everything because this could take a while. If you guys are big Lush fans, you will know that there are five things that are going to be discontinued very, very soon. You've got porridge soap, honeybee bath bomb, granny takes a dip bubble bar. What else was it? Pop in the bath bubble bar, I think, yep, and the green bubble rune. And I had never tried the green bubble rune, so I actually bought four of these because I was scared that I was going to fall in love with it. When you take it home, it actually smells a lot nicer than it does in the shop, which I'm really surprised at. It's very grassy, very earthy, but it's almost got a kind of lemony, citrusy smell in there as well. You guys know how awful I am at describing scents, so I do apologise, but I think it's kind of earthy, citrusy, but also kind of deep but light, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I would 100% recommend the Bubble Runes if you guys have never tried them before, because they're just very moisturising, super bubbly as well, and I really love them a lot. If you guys like to make bath cocktails, which is basically like mixing products together in the water, um, I would recommend mixing the Green Bubble Rune and Frozen. Ben, if you're watching, which I know you will be because it's a Lush video and it's me, so hi Ben. Um, but yeah, if you haven't mixed them together yet, you need to because it's just incredible. Um, but yeah, guys, I absolutely love this, and I bought four of them because... I'm a hoarder, so what else is in here? Speaking of the frozen bath bomb, I bought one of those as well. This is a neroli and grapefruit bath bomb, so it's super uplifting and it's all sparkly and glittery in the water and it was definitely inspired by the film Frozen. It's really pretty, I absolutely love this bath bomb so much and I just can't wait to use it, I am in love with it. And again, because it's been discontinued, I also got the Honeybee Bath Bomb. This obviously smells like honey, would you believe? Um, it smells like the Honey I Wash The Kids soap. Um, but I really like the smell. I've actually never had one of these in my bath, which is weird because I've worked there for so long. But I think because it goes yellow, it's just a bit eh of a bath bomb, it's not very exciting, but in terms of smell and how it makes your skin feel um, in the water, it's super lovely, so I am really looking forward to using this one. Oh, it just smells so good, I just want to eat it, but I won't because that would be silly. Next up is a body scrub, and I have used this body scrub before, and this is the sugar scrub body scrub. Now this is super, super hard um, and very, very rough, so I find the best way to use it is to either dunk it in the water, um, just like the edge, break a bit off and use it, or I actually crush it all up and put it in a pot and sort of scoop it out. I really love this body scrub, I think it's so good. I just really wish it was in a pot, so like the rub rub rub, I kind of wish it was like that. Um, but it's really, really great. It's really great for things like cellulite and things like that. From using it before, I absolutely love it. It is only £2.95, I believe, which is super affordable in my opinion for a body scrub. Um, but yeah, I really, really like it and I find that it does last longer if you pop it into a pot. So there's a little tip for you. I would definitely recommend doing that. It's literally bath bomb dust everywhere. Next up 
is the second of the three bubble runes and that is <gasps> I just crumbled it on my carpet next up is the second of the three bubble runes and that is the rose jam bubble rune smells like rose would you believe um, but it smells like a very sweet rose rather than like a garden rose and I hope that makes sense um, it's super sparkly on the top which is really pretty and I just crumbled it into my crotch it looks like this it's super sparkly and pretty and it's crumbling everywhere so I'm gonna have to pop this one down because it's just literally I don't know if you can see all that glitter probably not but Ooh, everywhere so it smells like a sweet rose it's really um, creamy and sweet and I really like it but yeah I do really recommend it this one isn't being discontinued so you guys don't have to rush to go and buy one but I do really like it and I think um, if you want to try something different but before the Halloween and the Christmas stuff comes out then I really recommend this because it's just really lovely and really light and sweet and I do like this one I've used it before and I think I have a, like a little bit of one left so just buying another one to stock up with that one so next up is the third and final bubble rune and that is the yuzu and cocoa this one smells like coconut and chocolate orange it's super sweet and creamy and light and I really love it they recently well I say recently it was like a year or so ago brought out the shower cream in the same scent which again I still absolutely adore it's so lovely so again if you've not tried this I really love it it looks like a little macaroon and sometimes it's really hard not to eat it because it does smell edible so I'm gonna pop that one down and another thing that was being discontinued is the pop in the bath bubble bar this has the same scent as the olive branch I'm actually really sad that that one is going because it's a very light and subtle smell and I think for people who don't like strong fragrances it's kind of a shame because a lot of our stuff is quite strong um, but I'm hoping that they're gonna give us something else that's also very light maybe um, flowering tea bubble bar or something because I just think we need something that's gonna kind of replace it I'm gonna use this one I've never actually had it before again so I thought I'd buy myself one just to try it before it goes um, and if I love it then obviously I can get one or two more um, just to have as like treats every now and then but yeah if you guys haven't tried it I would recommend it I think it's definitely worth trying before it goes away so yes pop in the bath is really really lovely and now I'm gonna move on to all of the Oxford Street stuff which is the bit I'm sure you guys are excited for um, I went to Oxford Street recently you would have seen my vlog actually I don't think it's up yet it's probably up now when you're watching this um, but I filmed when I was in London with my mum um, and we had a really good day we went everywhere we went to Common Garden, Oxford Street, Carnaby Street Soho area like we kind of did a lot of things and it was a very busy day we walked a lot um, we got lost a few times but it was such a lovely day so mum if you're watching thank you so much for a really nice day out it was just so fun um, but we went to Oxford Street and obviously we bought some stuff because we have no self control when it comes to Lush and Oxford Street obviously have the exclusive things and my mum had never been there before either so it was really fun and I spent a little bit of money but it was worth it because I got a lot of good things so I'm going to jump right in and show you what I got so so the first thing I'm going to show you is the thing that I am so excited about I forgot about it when I was there and then I saw it and I was like oh my gosh I have to get it like I have to get it I don't care if it's going to be heavy I have to get it I'm so glad I did and that is the plum rain shower gel I also bought myself a little 100ml as well um, one because I thought it would be good for kind of taking to the gym and swimming and stuff and also when I'm downstairs in the bathroom I kind of hate using big bottles so I'd rather just pour some in here and then use that in the bath anyway if I had to describe it I would say that it's kind of like okay so to me it smells like the comforter great Fanta and grass shower gel and I am in love with it I think it's so lovely um, it's a really deep dark purple color and I am in love with it I wish we had it all year round in every shop but unfortunately I don't think it's coming to stores and I think it is probably going to be discontinued from Oxford Street at some point soon so if you haven't tried it and you're in London make sure you go and give it a go because I just think that it's really lovely and it's something really different and if you miss grass shower gel and you don't mind things that are a little bit sweet give it a try because it's so good but yeah I'm absolutely loving that shower gel and I'm so glad I bought it so now moving on to all of the other bits and pieces so obviously if you are a Lush fan you will know that they recently released solid mouthwashes which is pretty innovative and amazing I just thought it was such a good idea we obviously have the solid toothpastes which not a lot of people know about but definitely exist um, and they're really great as well but I bought two of them so I got the creme de menthe and the pan galactic pan galactic gargle blaster try saying that five times fast I definitely could not um, this one is more minty whereas I believe this one 
is lemon and something else. What are you? Oh, it's like lemon and aniseedy, so it's a little bit different. There was also a third flavour, and I believe it's more sea salty, but I didn't get that one because one, I absolutely hate salt. I don't like sea salt at all. Um, I hate putting it on my food, I don't like it when you go to the beach and you get water in your mouth from the sea, it's just gross. So I just got these two because I thought I'd actually like them. I've used this one once so far and I'm really liking it. I think I just need to get into a habit of using them um, because they've been upstairs in the bag for a few weeks now and I thought that um, now I film this haul, obviously I can put them downstairs um, and I will more so likely use them than they would if they were upstairs. But yeah, I'm really liking them, I think they're super clever and if I'm honest, I think they're going to come to every shop. I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that, but I think eventually they will be coming to every shop um, because I don't see how they couldn't because they're so different and new and exciting that I think they would have to bring them to every store so yes I got those they were about four pounds something each or five pounds something each and I got two of them because I wanted to give them a real go and I think it's very important to look after your teeth so that's my excuse for buying that <laughs> next up we have something a little bit different and that is some soap I have a lot of soap for one person I feel like not anybody needs this much soap however when I eventually move out I will have endless amounts of hand soap that guests and things will never have to worry about not having soap um so this is the sticky banana soap and oh my gosh it smells like those banana foam sweets and a banana gel pen like mixed together do gel pens still exist i wish they did can you let me know in the comments if smelly gel pens still exist then please let me know but this one is super moisturizing like it's melting in my hand so i am going to put it back down on the paper um but i went to oxford street back in June I want to say when I went with Becca I think it was in June and I went to Oxford Street then I bought myself like two things because there wasn't really much there at the time that I wanted and I remember I bought my mum some of this soap and I regretted not buying myself any but I just couldn't be bothered to carry it around all day um, that's just me being lazy um, but this time I was like you know what I'm just gonna get some and just deal with it and carry it around um, for you know the rest of the day because you know, at the end of the day, I'm just, it's just soap, it's not going to weigh a ton. Um, but I'm absolutely obsessed with this soap. I've not used it yet, obviously, like I said, I've been um, trying to keep everything brand new in the bag. But we have some downstairs in the bathroom at the moment, and it's so good. So I really like this, it's very creamy. Um, I find that it does go down a little bit quicker, but I think um, it's still definitely worth it. And I'm absolutely loving this soap a lot. So next up I have four bath oils and I'm really stupid and I forgot the names of them so I'm going to just show you them and I am going to leave them in the cling film too just because they're going to melt everywhere and you know I'm being lazy. So there's this one which I can't remember what it's called but it smells minty and sweet and I'm really annoyed I threw the labels away but that's this one. These are all £2 which is definitely worth it in my opinion. Um, then we have this one, which is also like a star, but it's like raised. And that one's more like sherbet-y sweet, so that one's there. We've also got this one, which I believe is called the Cloak of Invisibility, I'm pretty sure. And this one smells, I don't know, it smells like something we've had before. And I can't pinpoint it, which is so frustrating. But it smells really nice and really sweet, kind of like marzipan, but not like marzipan at all, if that makes sense. Probably not, let's be honest. My descriptive words are awful. And then we've got the Dreamtime bath oil, which smells like lavender, which we used to have in the shops, but now they took them away, which sucks because I used to actually really enjoy that bath melt. It was so nice and good before bed and stuff. So I got all those, those were two pounds each um, and definitely worth it in my opinion. Next up, we have another bath bowl and this one is super powdery, so I'm gonna have to be really quick. This is the Guardians of the Forest. I have one of these from when I went in June. Have I used it? No. Um, so now I have a spare one, so I probably will use it very soon. I will always buy more than one of something if I love it, so that's why I bought another one of those. I feel like I'm rambling on now. It's just so hot in here, I feel like I'm talking gibberish. But anyway, I bought another one of those because I bought one in June and I wanted another just so I had two. And yeah, it smells very earthy, very foresty and gardeny hence the name and yeah I'm really hoping we get it instead of the green bubble rune but again I don't know so I think they're just gonna sort of show up um, 
in the next few months or so um, in delivery so as soon as we get a delivery of something exciting I will probably announce it on my snapchat so make sure that you follow me on there I love snapchat um, it's open to the public as well so you guys can send me snapchats um, so yeah it will always be in the description if you want to follow me on there um, cool so we've got three more things to go I feel like this is the longest Lush haul in the entire world I'm really sorry next up we have the flowering tea bubble bar and this is one of my absolute favourites I think I mentioned this in my top 10 Lush products video this came out for Mother's Day and it's so lovely. When I first smelt it, I actually didn't like it and then I used it in the water and it was so milky and creamy and just really, really lovely. So again, if you can get your hands on it, I would really, really recommend it. It's just so nice in the water and it just smells amazing. So I got this one and I believe it's reusable as well. So it's not just for one bath. You could definitely get you know five six seven maybe even more baths out of it because it's reusable so similar to the magic wand at Christmas you just swish it around the water um, and then makes those bubbles so yeah I loved that one next up is a bath bomb which I did smell when I went to Oxford Street the first second and third time but I never bought it and that is the cyanide pill this actually smells amazing and I don't know what it smells like it's kind of don't take this in the weirdest way in the world, but it kind of smells like babies. Like it smells like talcum powder, baby lotion, that kind of smell. But yeah, that one smells super light and fresh and I think that it's got some silver glitter inside, which is really nice and I love glitter, so I'm a big fan. Um, and yeah, I love that. I believe again, that was around, I want to say three pounds something, um, maybe four pounds, but I'm not too sure. And last, but definitely not least, we're finally at the bottom of the Mahusiv bag. Um, and that is the, I want to say it's called Divination or Divination, something like that. I can't remember, I threw the label away like an idiot. But it looks like this. And after getting it home, I'm not too sure on the scent. Like, I do like it, but to me it smells... I want to say it smells like Christmas, but it doesn't smell like Christmas. I really don't know how to describe it. If you guys have tried this, please comment in the description and tell me what it smells like because I've got no idea um, and it would be really super helpful. So again, this is a reusable bubble bar, so it means that you don't crumble it, you just hold it under the water. I find to um, get the best result, I don't swish it in the water, I hold it under the tap. Um, and it kind of makes way more bubbles so that's what I tend to do with them I find the sort of swishing around the water doesn't really do much for me um, but yeah that I think is everything apart from what's this? a shake away stamp card and a skin serum sample I don't know why they're in there but yes everything is empty all gone um, I hope you really enjoyed this video I haven't filmed a Lush haul in what feels like a long time when I check my YouTube channel, it'll probably have been like a month or so. But I feel like it's been a really long time since I filmed one. I'm really hoping to get my hands on the Halloween products that come out this month um, to share with you guys because I like to buy them and kind of show you guys as soon as possible, really. If you guys haven't followed me on Snapchat, like I said, then I would definitely do so because if I can't film a video really quickly, I will definitely show you on Snapchat what's coming out and everything. Um, what else was I going to say? Also, if you haven't already, please go over to my vlogging channel and subscribe because I'm uploading lots and lots over there at the moment and I am going to try and do vlogmas, which will be really exciting. Also, if you aren't subscribed to this channel, please, please do. We are nearing a thousand subscribers and I really, really want to reach that before the end of the year. So please, if you aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I think it's this side. Or is it this side? And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.